Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. There was a question in the comments that got me thinking. It was asking what I meant in the first episode where I said I wanted to be playing small. And, well, I thought about it for a little bit and I realized this is basically what I mean. I want to be a small nation which can interact with big nations, right? So say we control the Duchy of Holland. I think that would be quite reasonable for just now as a small nation. It's got four holdings, which is the maximum we could possibly hold. Um, we would potentially be able to build them up to be able to interact with many different nations around. We'd be able to go and do all of these activities. We'd have a reasonable income. That is kind of where I want to be. I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be an emperor right now. That's not really in my goals. Maybe later, maybe once we've explored some of what we're doing now. I don't even really want to be a king yet, but, you know, I think we could quite happily be a duke. I think that fits us quite nicely for just now. Until we've, you know, got used to it and we decide we want something different. So, that's our goal. Um, by the way, just out of curiosity, Frisia's the kingdom. Yeah, so even Frisia isn't that bad as a kingdom in terms of being small. It's, yeah, only like, an, it's only double the size of, um, yeah, of what's the duchy name here? Holland. Yeah, so it's only double the size of Holland. That seems perfectly reasonable as well. If we happen to end up with an opportunity, I wouldn't say no, but it's not like it's our top priority. So, let's look at what we've got to do this episode. Um, what we have to do is we have to get rid of our liege. Ideally, we would like our title. Now, what's the problem with our liege? Why do we need to get rid of her? Well, essentially, it's because she doesn't like us, her father doesn't like us, who happens to be her heir, and she holds a grudge. Now, we, when I say get rid of her, there are two ways we can get rid of her. The first way we get rid of her is we, um, you know, somehow take her title. The second way is that we marry her, and then that takes away her title, because effectively it will go into our family line, right? Either way works for me. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Um... Now, I just want to see, do we have a marriage option? We are her regent. I'm wondering whether we have some control over her marriages. I assume not. I think we've already checked, but I just want to double check. Yeah. So we have no control immediately. We do have skills of power control, interestingly, but we don't have, like, a stronger way of doing this. We could grand wedding it, and that gets us to the best we're going to get, but skills of power gives us plus 22. Now, is plus 22 um, our current value? No, our current value is 44. Okay. So, what that tells me is that you get half of the skills of power value towards getting that marriage. So, it might work in some circumstances, but right now, isn't going to work for us. So, uh, let's see, is there anything we can do further on that would allow us to do anything here? Yeah, no. So, nothing further on is going to give us anything more. Like, we're just going to get up to a maximum of 50. That's not really going to do very much for us, as in a maximum of uh, 50 opinion. That's not opinion, but you get what I'm meaning. 50 positive points towards marriage, right? Um, plus 50 on this, basically. So, yeah. This isn't happening currently. Um, if we got a strong hook, maybe we could do something. Uh, I think a strong hook is 100, though, which doesn't give us enough anyway. Grand wedding, how much is that? That's 40, right? Yeah, so Grand Reading is 40, we can get another 28 from that, let's say 29, because that's pr we're probably actually not at 22 looking at that value. Uh, I'm assuming, because I'm assuming that will round up to a nice value, unless we've got some... Oh no, we've got other numbers that are weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. So we've got another t uh, 28 that we can get off of here, so that puts us to 151, uh, then down an extra uh, 20, that puts us down to 131. If we got the strong hook, if I think that's 100, then that would put us down to negative 31. Which basically means we're still not there. Now, if we increased her opinion of us, maybe. But we would need a strong hook, and we would also need that opinion, which is, you know, currently not even remotely possible. So, let's ignore that for just now. I made a lot of assumptions there. Whether all of them are correct, I don't know. But I made a lot of assumptions there. Let's see what else we can do. So, we could revoke a title from our kinsman. This would be good because it would start moving us uh, towards a position where if we get this, we would be able to do a coup because we would have the majority of our liege's powerful vassals uh, saying yes because we would be our liege's only powerful vassal in, in theory. Although, I guess in theory, they could also have um, powerful vassals here 
and you could end up being a powerful vassal, but I don't think you would be. So, we could do that. Um, how much of a chance would we have of winning this war? So you're at 290, we're at 393. We could potentially um, force it to go into the line. She might veto it. But let's say um, we go in here, we back down. This would be, then be a crime. We could then in potentially imprison him using our liege, which would start a war between our liege and him if it didn't work, which would be interesting. Yeah, potentially. Uh, we would have to do it like this. I think that's how that would work, right? So if we tried to do regent uh, imprisonment and it failed, that would cause... Yeah, that, that would probably cause it to be a war for our liege because we're doing it on behalf of our liege, I think. It's all a little bit vague, but I think that might work. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. I think I might try this just to see what happens. It's not the worst thing in the world if it fails either. I mean, the worst thing that happens is um, we start a war, which is not ideal, but we could live with it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see what happens. He already hates us, so let's see how this goes. And we're going to go slow and see what happens. I said this was four provinces, didn't I? This is not four provinces. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. But anyway, close enough. To the loathsome uh, Garulf, can you do anything right? The land's slowest simpleton. You could see that Count Garulf isn't what you should be focusing on. Stop bullying better vassals and do your job. I'm sure my liege knows best. Okay, so can I do that again? No. So that is locked for three years. However, uh, my liege now has negative 444 prestige. So she's allowed to go into negative prestige for revoking titles. Interesting, because for regent imprisonment, it says that she would say yes, because she doesn't have the prestige to resist. So I'm guessing that um, restriction doesn't apply to this title, which would make sense, because otherwise she would just abuse it, as I was planning to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we're okay. So what we could do instead is we could start working towards the coup, we could make this guy like us a lot more, and then he would be all for it. Potentially. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. How much does he hate us by? <clears throat> Quite a lot, but I mean, all of these are going to wear off. Sure. We'll start swaying him. We'll start swaying him now. We'll see where it gets to. Right. Anything else that we need to worry about? We have a rival. Uh, this is Prince Bishop uh, Bernoin who was sleeping with our wife, who is now dead. Can we murder him? No, because we're too, we would get too stressed. We, we can think bad thoughts at him, but actually murdering him is not possible. We could convert him to witchcraft and then reveal that he's been converted to witchcraft, thereby ruining his reputation. Although I think that's kind of a mutually assured destruction situation. Uh, and there's our king, um, who I don't think we need to do anything with. Right, let's unpause. Yeah, I think we're happy to move on. Um, really, I'm just earning money right now. Unless I have enough um, for a mercenary. No, I don't have enough to hire mercenaries, so... Yeah, nothing we can do there. Okay, so they're just walking over my territory. Again, not really anything to worry about, nothing we can do with it. We're mostly just chilling. There's nothing immediately worrying for us. I might go speed five, actually. Ooh, our wife is pregnant. So, this could potentially be our second son. Oh, um, the king of Lotharingia has been um, excommunicated by the Pope. Also, just realize this king is not our king. This king is the king of Bavaria. Was he the person I could get... A oh, he's the person I could get an alliance with. Oh, wait a second. He became king of Bavaria. Oh, well done him. Okay. I mean, there's not a lot we can do with that information, but well done him. We learned of Hadjuans and my sister-in-law's disputed heritage. So, this is, um, yeah, her disputed heritage. So, this is my brother-in-law's brother's wife. Okay. 
Well, there's not really a lot we can do with that. It doesn't really help us in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Her ancestry is in doubt, but she's a lowborn. So does this even make any difference? Okay, whatever. Um, we'll close that down, and we'll carry on. Hey, we're now at 29 gold. We, the little things in life, you know? The little things. One of the wars is over. The second war is over. Um, I think we won both of them, so nothing has really changed in Lotharangia. And it's all good. We have another daughter. Waltrud. Hmm, okay. Uh, we do have two daughters right now. We could potentially marry them off. Uh, did I ever find you? I didn't find you a marriage either. Yeah, so maybe we want to marry off one of our daughters uh, in order to potentially get uh, an alliance with somebody. Do you have anybody who we can get an alliance with? You, Bourbon. That's 800 troops. That's a pretty good alliance. However, he doesn't like us, but he might like us if we married. Yeah. That, that one's not terrible. Um, He's a little bit old, but that's okay. We also marry in Fife. The problem with marrying Fife is that they're across the sea, so they won't pay for it. You're in Andalusia, Croatia. Yeah, so it would have to be someone up. You're Irish, so you're also out. Saxon, County of Cassell. That's a very strong ally, potentially. Um, again, you're a little old, but we, we could say yes to this one. This would be fine. Um, yeah, okay. He gets us an alliance. Whether they'll ever join us, I don't know. But they'll join Defensive Wars, which is definitely useful. And they're right next door, so that definitely uh, will help. Right, they're a powerful vassal on the right next door. Cool. Um, we can steal gold from your liege as regent. Okay. Sure. Uh, a small sum is 65%. Uh, we get 15 gold. Okay. Um, the negative is that... Other vassals won't like us, and she won't like us, and she can rightfully imprison us. I think she already has the right to imprison us. I don't remember how you can see that, but I think she definitely already has that. I would love to get this one. Obviously, we can, but I would love to get it. Uh, 45 is also kind of interesting. Um, we could go for this one, try and get a 57 on it. Yeah. We could also potentially switch our focus. I don't think we need anything else in here. We could wait, get the next Intrigue perk, get that one, and then switch to Stewardship in order to get a higher chance of being able to steal money. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Two wars? Oh, yes, of course, we can declare the Holy War in Jaland. Any moment now. Any moment. I'll be right on that war. Definitely. Well, Denzian's in Salerno. No, definitely not. Also, we now have enough troops to actually siege Zealand. Huge um, breakpoint for us. Now, we're only 13 over, so it's not perfect, but anyway. The fire roars, drinks have been had, and Frida is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous Dutch folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told the story of my own life, perhaps of the time my daughter Yolanda was born? So I can keep it traditional, or my own story. Uh, let's go for my own story. That gets us some prestige, which will definitely help, because we're very low in prestige right now. So, um, okay. I failed to find any secrets her guest Emmet might uh, possess. I, I don't need anything on her guest Emmet, or Emmet. Uh, you've converted, so that's Ben Vento has converted to Waldensianism. Okay, so that's quite far away. We don't really need to worry about that. Also, West Francia has um, expanded, huh? Yeah, okay, good to know, good to know. Right, back up here. Converted to Waldensianism. So that is Spoleto. Mandate, bring out your youth. The locals of Dockham are required to provide a certain number of troops to Jarl Grima, which they duly do whenever asked. That's not to say that everyone's a fighting age in the area, though. And my recent investigations of Regent have shown that their obligations are almost shockingly light. The numbers we could be drafting all but dwarf the paltry contingents we actually levied. The locals are resistant, but my mandate spurs me on regardless. Let the peons know this is the chance to acquire plunder. That's not going to work. I'm sure the richer ones would pay to be ignored, or 
These people have fulfilled their obligations, that's enough. She dislikes us, but we lose stress and we gain uh, some prestige. Yeah, let's use our justice uh, trait to actually get us something. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Here, I'm going to go digging for dirt. That gets find secrets to be quicker. We're now going to switch over to stewardship and we're going to grab ourselves... I'm kind of tempted to do this one, but I think I'm going to grab myself plus three stewardship. So now when we try and steal from our liege, we're now at 67%. 74% for a little bit of money. I think we take this. <clears throat> I think this will work. Let's go for that. Aha, it has worked. Fantastic news. Right, let's carry on. I don't think there's anything we can actually buy now. Let me just double check. Um, I think it's 135, right? That's our break point. Um, it is 90 if we want walls and towers. That's not bad. They would get us reasonable taxes for not as much money. Um, something like manor houses would be better though. Manor houses or farms and fields. Something of that ilk. In fact, manor houses, it looks to be by far the best for, in terms of just pure money. We might also want troops, though. That's the other thing. We might just want troops. Hmm. It's interesting to think about. We also now have this one over here as well. This one is starting to give us um, actual values. Once some of these negatives wear away, this will actually start paying us out quite well. So, yeah, I guess we just wait. And the longer we wait, the better things get for us. Are you in a war? No. Who's fighting here? Oh, it's Lotharengia. Okay, so our, our king is fighting. That's fine. We don't need to worry about our king. He'll carry on doing his things. It's not our prop. Blum? Um? 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 What happened to Lotharengia? Um, Lotharengia appears to have had an accident. Um. What, what happened? Um, our king died. I see. I see. Um. He died, he was murdered. So our king was murdered. None of our cousins inherited because they were women. And then his brother inherited. Who is now in charge of West Francia. Which is all of this. My god. Okay, well. That's worrying. But luckily we are on his side. So we're fine. Um, how far away are they from creating an empire? They must not be that far away, right? I guess they don't control any individual area. Like, they almost control all of Italia, but not quite. Yeah, they don't control enough of Germany and don't control enough of France yet, but still. That's a lot of land that they have now. I was kind of thinking, do they have Restore the Holy Roman Empire? But, let's see. So they would have, I think they can have this one with West France here. Maybe, unless they can only make Francia with it. Must control at least three kingdom titles, they do. Realm size is pretty big. Yep. I think if the Pope liked them, they could maybe do that. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, not our immediate problem. Um, does mean that in theory all of these people can declare internal wars rather than external wars. Like, Gelra could maybe declare an internal war. But they have to attack our liege, which... You know, it's still a nice protection for just now. Okay. That's fine. Did you just lose a bunch of troops? Uh, I think you did. Ah, but you actually gained some garrison, unfortunately, which... Yep, that, that'll cause us problems. Uh, we'll just clear these things out. And we'll continue waiting. The map. Ah, this means somebody is trying to kill us. Well, we can't let him go because we're paranoid and vengeful, so I guess I'm going to imprison... Arnol. Hmm. Arnol. What are we going to do with you? Uh, you're worth 10 gold? Honestly, like, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, anything else we want to do here? We could execute some, but we're not allowed to do that. I would like 10 gold from you, Arnol. Thank you for the 10 gold. Really appreciate it. Gonna be useful. I think it's probably him who's trying to murder me. It would seem like the most likely candidate. I could switch you on to disrupting schemes. I might do that after Find Secrets fails again. There we go. It failed again, but uh, we could now get a secret. We could get a hook on Lorenzo. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, we'll just make him like us. We'll switch you on to disrupt schemes. 
and will hopefully be alive. Okay, let's have a look at the Dynasty Legacy. Now, is there anything new here? Activities is new, right? So we can make Grand Weddings cheaper, and they gain a 15 bonus acceptance. Ooh, increased chance to generate a temporary strong hook on lieges who like you at Grand Weddings. Then you get Walking a Sacred Path. Uh-huh. Gain two learning per unique holy site of your faith visited. Ooh. Okay, again, pretty cool. Deigning to visit. So you can get different bonuses upon uh, complete, uh, completing different uh, tours. Okay. Uh, and upon completing any, reset the cooldown on any of the above modifiers. So you can do one, then do another, then do another, then do one that just resets them all. Okay. Eager Reveler and Hunter experience gain go up and significantly more likely to generate legendary animal sightings. And then Field of the Cloth of Gold. So the Hostiludur trait experience goes up. So this is uh, tournaments. Uh, then Invite Knight's decision is free during grand tournaments and brings characters with higher prowess. And the househead's first grand activity is free. Ooh. I think we go with this. This seems like a good path for us. Yeah, I'm happy with this path. This seems interesting. Yeah, it's it's new as well, which is of course what something we want to try and have a look at. Okay, so this means that weddings will give a better acceptance and they're cheaper. So if we go and have a look at our liege right now, and we're like, hey, uh, you want a marriage with our son? We can then go, hey, is it grand marriage? And now we get 55? Yes, activates Dynasty Legacy. So I actually split those up as well. Yes, yeah, so that gives us 55. We're still a little bit away, but potentially a little bit closer than we were. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let's see, anything else we can do? I don't think so. Oh, yes, oh, I can swing the scales of power. Never mind, I want to do this first. Uh, so where are we right now? We're currently at 50. Wonderful, I want to swing the scales towards us. Then we can attempt to imprison fellow vassals and courtiers within the realm of our liege. Ooh-hoo. That seems good, so let's swing the scales. What do I want to do? I kind of want to leverage my piety if I can, because I hate... Our, like, our piety has no value. I was, going to say, I was going to say I hate our piety, that's the wrong word. I feel like our piety does not matter. That's a better way of putting it. Yeah, so let's do that. We're now at rank 4. So now, in theory, I can go to you and I can say, Hey you, brother-in-law, I'm now going to imprison you. Or at least would approve it because they don't have prestige to resist. I can then use my hook. He's still going to say no, but he, they can't veto because they don't have the prestige to resist. We can use a hook on here as well, actually. Interesting. Oh, wait. No, this is all the same in the bottom part. Okay. We're on decline. Uh, if I press the claim, it starts a war against you with the remove regent cast a spell. -y. Ah. <laughs> Okay, but if I back down, it allows your Grima to rightfully imprison Count uh, Jerulf. Okay. Interesting. And it's an act of tyranny. Hmm. Hmm. I would love to imprison him. Uh, the reason why he might accept. There's no rank difference. Personality doesn't mean he'll accept it. He doesn't like us and his intrigue is higher than ours. Okay. Well. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't think it's going to work. It doesn't do a war between... It's not a war between our liege and him. It's a war between us and him. And that puts us in the exact same situation that we would be in anyway. Which is not a useful situation for us. Because we still don't... Actually, we now have enough troops to actually get over the garrison by a, num a reasonable number. But we're not quite there. Ah, yes. I got distracted. Uh, somebody said this only costs like 75 prestige to uh, get a successor. Uh, so let's have a look. A seeker is uh, a worthy one. Oh, we have to pay it, but still. Yeah, we, sh we should probably look at that at some point. Yeah, we've moved the skills towards our side. Now, this means we're going to swing back at 0 0.5 until it reaches a balance of 50 out of 100. So when can we next swing the scales? We next do that in two years. So 0 0.25 over the course of 12 months is going to be... Um, four, I think. Calculating in head. That sounds correct. Quarter of 12 is um, three. Okay, that is incorrect. It'll be three, I think. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, three. 
I know, easy maths are often the hardest. So it's going to be three. Another year, that will then put it to be six. So this is going to go down by six. So it's going to go to 54. We can then push it up. It can then drop by another six. We can then push it up. And then we'll be here. Yeah, okay. So we need something else to push us up there. So that's in four years' time. Um... I think we still have time, but still, it's interesting. We're, um, yeah, we're not quite getting where we need to be with this. Mandate, a rare talent. A warrior of rare talent is passing through Holland. One whose sword would doubtless be greatly valued in your Grima's armies. My mandate as regent calls for me to be on the lookout for such individuals, and I've already sent numerous uh, entreaties to Oliver, trying to recruit him for my liege. Yeah, he's pretty good. Except that the roaming fighter doesn't seem too enthused by the thoughts of swearing his blade to our cause, we're buffing every envoy in turn. So I can try and talk to him. Okay. Which is an abuse of, of, of uh, power, apparently. Okay. Perhaps it's the potential mistress that's the issue. We can try and get him to join our court. Or leave him be, he's clearly not interested. Okay, well. Uh, we can swing this if we get it. It's a 15% chance. If we fail... The only thing that happened, we lose prestige and he doesn't like us. Hmm. I think I'm okay rolling the dice actually here. It's uh, not too bad. So yeah, let's roll the dice. We didn't get it, but you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. West Francia is currently being attacked by Spoleto. Spoleto is attacking them in a war um, against the tyranny. Okay. Well, that's all the way down in Italy, so not anything we need to worry about. What's this? Activity available, grand tournament. I don't have the money though. I think I have the money to start planning, but I don't actually have the money, unfortunately. Anyone holding a tournament right now? No, I don't think anyone has the money currently to hold the tournament. Nope. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll chill, we'll chill. There's nothing we need to worry about. Um, We would like to have a few more... Um. You know, troops and things, but we're, we're fine right now. Control's going up here, which is nice. Once we get the levy size uh, negative gone, that'll be very good for us. Hybrid culture has been formed between the Norse and Anglo-Saxon cultures. So that is in Jorvik. It's called the Anglo-Nordic culture. Okay, cool, cool. Again, nothing we need to truly worry about. Duke Hugo is attacking. Why? A claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Oh, with some backing behind it. How much backing? Enough to actually put up a fight against West Francia. Oh, okay, yeah, West Francia are in a little bit of trouble. Don't you dare come to my land and siege. Zealand, yeah, you can siege Zealand. But not my land. Yeah, in fact, sieging Zealand would be great. We just wait for the war to end, go steal the siege and uh, take it. But anyway, it's all okay. It's all okay. Just don't come and see us. This got beneficial deal. Building construction is a uh, lord in Ostfriesland, but that doesn't actually matter because we have no money. While out on a leisurely stroll, the cry of a particular merchant stands out from the regular hustle and bustle of the street. Greetings, my lord. I have an exquisite assortment of wares if my lord has the coin. Okay. Um, no. I don't have the coin. A slippery slope. Pa! Souts walled jur, uh, directly into my ear. My eyes open reluctantly one at a time. That's one way to wake up, I suppose. The small child next to my bed is positively vibrating with excitement, clutching mittens and an expensive wooden platter. It's snowing outside and I want to go sledding. Will you take me? Um, I actually really need to lose the stress, so, you know, our son is going to hate us, but I'm going to feel less stressed. Which is definitely good. Another war declared on our leash. Genoa has declared a liberty war. And has some backing behind it too. Okay. West Francia has existed for a very short amount of time. And uh, I think may exist for a very short amount of time. Given the current uh, ongoings. But that's fine. Our leash has, you know, sensibly stayed out of it. Although I guess we would have a say in the matter as a region. I don't know if we would have a say in the matter as a region. But it doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, we, nothing bad is happening, which is what really matters. A better use for you. 
The Gauls and courts of Ostfriesland have been processing an unfortunately high number of miscreants lately. Under normal circumstances, justice would find these malefactors swiftly and they'd be turned loose to the wilds or to the grave. Luckily for them, I have many ample examples with sword or arrow and my mandate as regent requires me to find fresh soldiers. This tasteful solution of service in your Grima's army seems obvious, and though this turns up plenty of hardy bandits and eagle-eyed poachers, the notion has the peasantry up in arms. We only take the very best, it's only an 8% chance it does anything. 8% chance, or let's not do it and I'll lose some stress. Yeah, I think we really need to lose some stress here. Um, our king has been excommunicated, as is tradition, as is tradition. Hey, stewardship perk. Uh, what do we want here? Golden obligations is always a nice one. It allows us to turn our hooks into money. Uh, let's do that. There's potential for us to earn a little bit of money off of this. Yeah, I can demand payment from this guy right here, which is quite a lot of money, really. Great. I can steal more gold. Just a small sum. Aha! Another little bit of gold. We have 150. It might be time to build, actually. Is there anything I can build here that would be useful? Um, I would like a few extra troops. Maybe uh, this one? Cattle pastures? Doesn't get us anything immediately, but... As in, it doesn't get us any, like, long-term bonuses. But the levies and taxes are quite nice. Um, like, this kind of thing would be a, a better long-term option. But this would, this would be good. It, I should have said it does get us stuff immediately. That's what I was trying to say. Um... Yeah, I think I might go for that. Castle uh, castle pastures. Let's get ourselves some levies. I think an extra 75 would definitely go a long way. Okay, this is all fine. We can swing the scales of power? I would love to. So we're currently at 53. I would like to leverage our... I don't have anything in leverage, I see. Well, that's going to be a problem. War declared on Liege by leader Bruno. Of the populist uprising. Uh, oh no. Look how many wars he's in. He's winning some of them, but some of them he's not. Okay, you're gonna siege Zealand? No, you're just gonna get on the boats. We're malnourished, and Walder has come of age. Or Walder come, has come of age. He's a thrifty clerk. Okay, is there an option to eat more? There does not appear to be an option to eat more. Alright, well, you need to marry somebody. Um, ideally, we want you to find... Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be an adult. It could just be someone younger. You could marry into Lotharangia. I mean, you are close in terms of relation, but you're Carling. That would be okay. This, what a bonus? We got a huge chunk of uh, um, of prestige for doing that. It's not a terrible option. Yeah, you could also marry this other cousin in Lotharangia, which would get us comely. There, there is a chance of them being inbred, so maybe not the best option. I would love an inheritable trait, though. Let's go inheritable trait. Um, is there anything that we would want in particular? Maybe, yeah, maybe I do want prestige gain or something like that. So you, you're apparently not too bad, Stephanie. Okay, you're not related to anyone important, but you would get us. We would actually lose prestige from marrying into your house. Is there anyone we would gain prestige from? No, literally the only person we would gain prestige from is you and you. You're one and you're 18. Uh, I guess we're going for the inbred one, right? If I want to get an inheritable trait, this is the way to do it. Let's do it. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm after that prestige. It's going to go to him, but still, I think that's going to be worth it. Let's get that marriage going. Marrying cousins is a long uh, standing tradition in... Uh, you know, European culture. So let's do it. Or European nobility, I should say. So let's do that. Right, that's fine. Potential alliances. We now have multiple potential alliances, all of which say no. Um, that's due to my um, cousin there. We, we're, we're close, though. We're close to an alliance. We're not quite there, but we're close. Okay. And now we can let our simple pastures build. Um, of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. Well, I don't want to see them either. We're going to lower uh, their opinion of us and lower our stress. Should be good. We're almost down at stress level 1. 
which will be no doubt good for our health, which is currently poor. We're in stress level 2 and malnourished. Not ideal. Our development keeps going up, though. This is good. We're at development 10. Um, for comparison, what's Paris at? 15. So, yeah, we're, we're catching up. Catching up. How is this looking now? 71 troops from here. Not too bad, not too bad. Levy size is still a problem, but once that goes, that'll be good. Count Radboud of Holland has found peace in Christ's embrace at 32 years of age. He died in his sleep. I told you our stress was too high. If there was something that can be said about him, it was that he was never one to leave an impression on any that met him. What a damning thing to say. Count Waldsger ascends to the throne. Being both thrifty and frugal, the realm will surely prosper under his rule. At least we have prestige. We will continue as him. He inherits all the titles. We ruled for 15 years, and we are now a 16-year-old who is married to his cousin. However, here's the thing. Our bishop now likes us. Who's now? Um, you're now the regent, Bis uh, Bishop Sverker. We could potentially try and push ourselves as regent. Um, we don't necessarily need to. She doesn't like us, but that's mostly opinion the predecessor, which burns off at 9 per year, which means that that's going to burn off very quickly. Um, we could start um, trying to make her like us. There's nothing we can do immediately against her, but again, someone we could think about. We don't have any claims on you anymore, but you actually like us, which is kind of a positive. What are we looking at? We're compassionate, arrogant, shy, and thrifty. Huh. Okay. I mean, we're okay in terms of being a leader. I think we're not in a terrible position. Um, we now have no real worry about getting rid of her, of like, um, needing to get rid of her, because once this burns off, she'll only have like a natural dislike towards us, which we can work through, uh, away with uh, Sway. I think we're okay. I think actually dying there has given us an opportunity to step back and potentially, you know, build up some of our holdings. I think the opportunity to build up Ostfriesland is quite nice. Um, it will also allow us to finish our simple pastures. We'll end up with a lot of troops. We can potentially um, get ourselves ready to go to a war against our liege. There are options for us. And there are options about ending the episode, which is what we're about to do. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.